Welcome back, JC here. Now let's talk about how to power the X-Racer flight controllers. So these flight controllers, and it doesn't matter which model you have, the version 2.1, 3.0, or 3.1, uh, none of them have a built-in voltage regulator. So we need to supply 5 volts to the flight controller to not only power it, but also send 5 volts to any additional accessories uh, added into it like your receiver, on-screen displays, GPS, stuff like that. To do this, you have to first determine what type of ESCs you are using. You have linear ESCs and you have opto ESCs. What's the difference? Let's see. All right, a linear ESC is going to have three of these small wires coming from it. You will have a yellow or white, it could be either color. This is your signal wire, a red wire for power, and a brown or black wire for ground. Basically, you wire these main leads to your PDB, which powers the ESC, but linear ESCs actually have a built-in BEC, or voltage regulator, to where it will take the voltage, step it down to 5 volts, and then kick it back out through the red power wire. And because of this, you can take these ESCs and... Uh, just because it's connected to the flight controller, it's automatically putting 5 volts into the flight controller. Okay, so uh, before we get to the opto ESCs, I'm just going to give you a little demonstration. On the flight controller, like I said in the receiver videos, this side is our input pins, this side is the output pins, and this is what you put your ESCs on. All the pins closest to the center of the board is the actual signal pins, and that is what your signal wire will go to, the one that's either yellow or white. The, uh, all the pins in the middle are the power pins, and all the pins on the edge of the board are the ground pins. And that's how I have it wired. So let's just pretend this is ESC number one, and I place it on channel number one. The tip I have is you only need one ESC with the power wire. You can put all four or however many ESCs on this board, and they can all have a power wire, but the chances of something messing up and frying greatly increases. Besides, you don't need that many power wires. Um, like I said, you only need one. So, uh, say you have a quadcopter with four ESCs, the three other ESCs, I would completely cut the power wire out. Either cut it out or desolder it, just completely remove it uh, to where you only have one power wire from one ESC and then three ESCs they don't have it. Now if I plug in my LiPo, power is going from the LiPo battery to the PDB. We've got the main power and ground leads going into the ESC, which is powering the ESC. Then it's stepping the voltage down, kicking it back out through the red power wire, and that is what is powering the flight controller and receiver or anything else attached with 5 volts. Now for opto ESCs, which are these. You can identify an opto ESC because it does not have the power wire. It only has signal and ground. Because it only has signal and ground, meaning it does not have the built-in BEC or voltage regulator, these will not produce the 5 volts needed to power the flight controller. So you need an additional 5 volt power source. What the majority of us do who use opto ESCs uh, we use PDBs that have a 5 volt voltage regulator built in instead of it being built into the ESC. And you can spot that here. So what I'll do is just run a wire from here to the fly controller. I'm just going to use these scrap wires, nothing special about them. Okay, and I've taken those wires, soldered it to the 5 volt voltage regulator on the PDB, positive and negative. And then on the flight controller, instead of putting it on channel 1 this time, uh, because our opto ESCs are going to be taking up channels 1 to 4, or you know 1 to 6, however many motors you have, uh, this has 8 outputs, so you can actually run this to... You, really, you can run the power wire to any power pin you want. The reason I'm using channel number 8 is because it's out the way. No ESCs. I'm not flying an octocopter with 8 motors, so... Channel 8 will not be used for anything else, so this is just out the way, uh, you know, with power and ground. So now once I plug in my LiPo battery, 
it goes from the battery to the PDB. The PDB is stepping the voltage down this time instead of the ESC doing it. And now giving my flight controller and receiver, anything else, the five volts that they need. That's basically it guys. So check out the playlist that I've left for you in the description below or in the top right of your screen. Uh, the next video will be how to get voltage in your telemetry. So thanks for watching and I will see you there.